Good morning. It's Friday. How many of y'all know that um, phrase that we always say, too much is given, much is required, right? Yes. Okay. So in this boundaries book, we're talking about talents today. Okay. In the Bible, um, Matthew 25, which Dr. Henry Cloud talks about, and he uses this example, which is really great because sometimes we get caught up in looking at, you know, scripture in a certain way. But then when God gives you a revelation, you're like, oh, that's what that really meant. Right. That's what was going on. So listen to this. So in this passage about talents, okay. Um, it's about, it's, it's a, it's a description about the kingdom of heaven. Okay. But this is the example. The master entrusted his money to three servants, right? He left, but he gave it to them according to their ability. Okay. So we all have, right. Because of the ability that we have to, you, you know, to, um, I would say distribute what we have or what had God has called us to uh do in this world okay so our ability only god knows our ability and he reveals that to us in our walk with him amen so two servants did something with what they had and it multiplied the third servant hid it okay in the ground when the master returned it right he said he blessed the ones that did something with what they had and they got more Okay. The third servant didn't do anything. He hid it in the ground and had a justification about what the master was doing with his land. Okay. God or the master called him wicked and lazy servant. Okay. Because he didn't do anything with what he was given. Too much is given. Much is required. Those who use what you have, right, will be given more. And you will have abundance of it, okay? But those who do nothing, the little that you have will be taken away. And the scripture says that. So this, the servant ends up becoming useless because he doesn't use what he has. So this passage really illustrates, right? The responsibility and the ownership that God gives us over what he's given us according to our ability, right? So you can look at the internal talents and gifts that we do have that are in our boundaries and we are responsible for, right? But we have to take ownership of them. Yes, it could be frightening. Yes, it could be scary. Yes, it could be risky. But guess what? We are accountable and happier when we use our gifts to be productive with them. Okay. Yes, it takes work. Yes, it takes practice. Yes, it takes learning. Yes, it takes prayer and resources and the grace to overcome the fear, right, of failure that the wicked and lazy servant had. But the thing about this is the wicked and lazy servant, the one that hid the talent in the ground, he was not judged because he didn't do nothing with it. He was judged because he did not confront the fear that he had that made him not do anything with what he had. <laughs> God has given us the grace, right? To do the exceedingly abundantly above all. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. How is that? Because of the grace that God has given us. Not confronting the fear denies God's grace in our life. So I want to encourage you, whatever God has given you, use it. It will make you happier. It will keep you accountable. And guess what? Most of all, it will sustain you. Is it going to be scary? Yes. Is it going to be frightening? Is it going to be risky? Yes. Is it going to be hard? Yes. But guess what? God's grace is sufficient for you. God bless you. I know this is a little bit long today, but guess what? Happy Friday. Thank you for listening. I pray that you are encouraged and may God give much more to you as you continue to trust him. God bless. Have a good weekend.